Steve Cook here with my man Locky Contest Witter Nutrition Warehouse. Set him up with a training day with me and Mr. Sean Stafford here. Sean, unfortunately, has a hurt neck. We're playing some American football and uh, I led him a little bit too far in the past and hurt his neck. But I, di I dived, I caught it. It was uh, touchdown. In zone. zone, yeah. And it was the victory dance. <laughs> <laughs> What he's trying to say is he's a dad now and he gets hurt a lot. <laughs> so, we are going to be doing arms and a little bit, or we're going to be sh shoulders with a little bit of arms. Mainly sh focusing on shoulders, but we're going to hit the gun show too. We've got the sleeves rolled up for us. Yeah, I can start. He's got the tan here, got that Aussie tan. He's got long hair. He's very, very Australian. So, I'm going to, we're going to, this one's going to be called Shoulders and Arms Down Under. We're here in Good Life in Paran. Pretty cool gym. It's like everything in Melbourne is just a little bit cooler, I think. A little think. bit cooler. Down under, shoulders and arms starts now. Let's do it. <laughs> We're starting off with the seated side laterals first, because us taller guys over six foot, you gotta bring out that, that shoulder width there. Best way to do that, some, lot, some side lateral raises. Good. Talk about that a lot in the videos. That single motion there, that, pull. that kind of that rotating them over, yeah. keeps it a, a more focused on. Yeah. We start t tilting it here and keeping that pinky higher, brings a lot more of that rear delta activation in, rather than here, and your pinky's down, brings a lot more anterior. So if we're doing raises here, that's gonna be all anterior delta. All of a sudden, we flip it, and we're coming up here. Little running the rack action for the last set here. So we've set up, it looks a little messy. We're gonna be putting them away because you always re-rack your weights. But what we've done, have a, about in kilograms here, it's about every every 2.5 kgs, which is about five pounds. So I'm gonna start off about 25s, 30s. Do as many as I can, drop, drop, drop. We're gonna do two sets of that, at least five drops in here. So we're gonna get busy on this. We're gonna do these standing too, because the momentum, I, I, on these, it's kind of the equivalent of a cheat curl. I'll start swinging a little bit just to get it up. I might be anyone, a lone fool out in the sun. Your heartbeat of solid gold. I love you, you'll never know. Utilize a little priority principle training with the side laterals first. Wanted to knock out pre exhaust that side lateral. The side, the really, I call it the medial delt. It's not the medial delt, it's the lateral head of the deltoid there. So we're looking for that 3D delt. Next, we're going to jump into more of the mass builder, the compound exercise, the push press. Now, you can do these behind the neck which is what we're going to do today. I'm going to do a little bit less pushing. I'm trying to do a little bit more static press. We're going to go in front of the neck and really practice punching it up. I do both. Um, we're going to be supersetting this one with a pull-up. Getting a lot of anterior delt in this. So, we're actually going to go and do a proper pull-up as well. Or, if you do have a TRX, you can always use one of these if you can't do pull-ups here. And just use it here. And that'll really work upper back along with rear delts here. So pull-ups or a little TRX action. I'm gonna probably flip-flop both of them. Um, and we're gonna go 14, no sorry, we're doing 12, 10, eight, six. So as we go up in weight, we're pyramiding down in reps. So pyramid up in weight, down in reps, if that makes sense. I think I said that backwards. Let's jump into it. When the daylight comes, you feel so cold. exercise typically but we're gonna be really concentrating on keeping the elbows pulled back here using that hole you get your rhomboids you get your delts you get the posterior delts that are coming into play a little bit of everything 
And again, it's just good to offset. We do so much pushing, whether it's bench press or shoulders, you need to offset it with some pulling. Got a little gym for you guys here and now. We got wide grip, upright row, supersetted with a front raise, supinated with a little extra push at the top. And then from there, once you hit exhaustion with that, supinated front press. Really just hammering in on that, that front delt there at the end. Trying to get that separation between bicep and shoulder. Really carve out that anterior delt between the chest. And then also you get the bicep there. You got that front delt that's just gonna come down. Then you got the lateral delt, and then we're working some posterior delt here with the upright row. Most important thing on this, uh, most upright rows when you use close grip, a close grip pull, it works too much anterior delt. We're gonna be kind of rotating the shoulders forward. It's kind of a tough thing to learn. Um, you gotta kind of play around with it. You'll see me rotate, and then I keep the weight as close to my body as I can. So really wide grip, again, normal, rotate. So it's just a slight rotation. Driving with the elbows. I might be anyone, a lone fool out in the sun. Your heart beat of solid gold. Locky uh, in his AFL career here, they have a saying they like to, what do you guys say? Embrace the suck. Embrace the suck. That's something that, and more or less, it means, you know, just focus on the pain. the pain. Like, yeah, and embrace, I guess embrace the pain is something we say in the U.S., but embrace the suck. That's it. I like it. It's just kind of like push past When you it. spent. Yeah. It. That's a good, that's a good saying. The only easy day was yesterday. We like that one too, Navy yeah. Seals. When the daylight comes, you feel so cold, you know. I'm too afraid of my heart to let you go. As Cal would say, your fellow Aussie, time for some CrossFit bullshit. <laughs> so, oh, there's some more swearing. Guys, I'm sorry. Aussies like to swear, it's rubbing off on me. I'm blaming you guys. Now they don't. Um, prison push up time. So, this, this is, do you guys have conditioning? Yeah. At the end of practice? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, this is what I like to call the conditioning segment of my shoulder workouts. It's at the end of it. It's when you, you gotta just get through it. There's gonna be some embrace pain. <laughs> There's gonna be some discomfort. You just got to embrace the suck. Embrace the suck. So how we're rolling here, just a pretty much a, so hands gotta be neutral grip, neutral here. And as you come up, you touch the insides. So you touch the back of your hands together. Yep. Pop down, push up, pop back up. We're going one, one, two, two, all the way up to 10. So, no, we're doing them together. Oh. So standing like that? Stand, yep, standing here, so boom, and then here. Two. This is a little arm afterthought. Shoulders isn't that intensive, meaning we don't have big movements like squats or bent over rows to do. So we're throwing arms on our shoulder day as well. We got spider curls here. Pick three biceps and three triceps. Um, if you're looking to build more size, I want you to go eight to 10 reps. Um, for me, I'm trying to get maximum definition. So I'm gonna do, I'm doing supersets 
up to 20 reps, no breaks in between. Just looking to keep, keep my arms not only full, but trying to really bring up things like my peak. So that's the spider curl coming in. Reverse curls I'm gonna do for my brachialis. Um, and then things like dumbbell skull crushers, push downs. Um, so this is more shape training for me. was our little just arm, kind of just a play date with the arms. Kind of like, you know, had some more energy, so you're gonna do arms. Again, four exercises, three to four sets, depending on really what your goals are. Again, if you want bigger arms, that hypertrophy rep range, for me, I'm trying to just spot shape a little bit more. So I'm concentrating on slowing it down, really focusing on full range of motion, squeezing. I do between 14 to 20 reps on most things in there. And I'm trying, uh, same thing I'm doing with my legs, just trying to improve weak area. So biceps, a little bit more peak, a um, little bit more definition in the triceps on that outer head. If you're, again, if your overall goal is mass, keeping that rep range down is gonna suit you a little bit better. My man killed it. You embrace Y'all, the stuff today. Stop, embrace it. Yeah. That's it. You can be a soldier, come over to the US, we'll train anytime, man. You're good, good man. Success. Always good to train with a Viking here in Australia. <laughs> kind of crazy. That's it. All right, guys. We're gonna have more from you. Got more for you guys coming from down under. It's just an absolute awesome place to be. I'm not gonna lie. I could see myself living here one day, especially in Melbourne, just because. Fine, forty. It is that awesome. Info. Um, we're gonna go try out some AFL tomorrow. Yeah. Um, I would be good because that forced me to get in my cardio. <laughs> this guy runs like 11 kgs per game. So, or hopefully uh, I can understand it. I'm gonna learn the rules a little bit because um, I think it'd be fun to play. Yeah, good stuff. So, all right, we'll catch you guys later.